Hello guys, this is Switch of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotion guys, I would like to shout out the following person on channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotion natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Margie Cayano, Royal Vlog, Ali, Monique Killiamore, Sweetie Dean Quadra, Ivy Jean Franciloso, Retro Vlogs, Youngs TV, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere but still napunta pa rin dito para manood. At makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. Praise God, natapos na rin yung isang linggong pagtatrabaho at pag-aaral ng mga estudyante natin, no? At least, makapagpahinga na naman tayo, preparing ourselves, particularly for the students, for their second grading exam by next week and even to the NAP, National Achievement Test for Grade 12. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotion. Now, let's open a Bible to Revelation chapter 4 verses 4 to 11. This is about the throne in heaven. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord <clears throat> in Revelation 4 verses 4 to 11 says, Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones, and seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crown of gold on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning rumbling and peals of thunders. Before the throne, seven lamps were blazing. These are the seven spirits of God. Also before the throne, there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. In the center, around the throne, were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second was like an ox, the third had a face like a man, like fourth, the fourth was like flying eagle. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes and all around. Even under his wings, day and night, they never stop saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Wherever the living creature gave glory, <clears throat> honor and thank to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever. The twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, our Lord our God and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their beings. Amen and amen. I guess that's not pray. Yes, Father God, you only deserve you are the only one deserved to be praised and worshipped to be honored, to be offered of something and not anything else. Lord, I'm so sorry if we are making our own God in any way, an idol in any way. We pray to please forgive us, O oh God, and make you to become our one and only God who deserves all praise and thanksgiving. Yes, Lord, thank you that we can make you a wonderful one for ourselves. And as much as possible for any one of us, oh God. We commit all these things to you, oh God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our focus verse for this evening, guys, is found in Revelation 4, 2. And it says, There before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is The Wonderful One. In the wonderful wizard of ghosts, the roti, the skirky, the tin man, and the cowardly lion returned to us with a broomstick that empowered the wicked witch 
of the West. The wizard had promised in return for the broomstick that he would keep the four their deepest desire, a ride home for Dorothy, a brain for the scarecrow, a heart, heart for the tin man, and courage for the cowardly lion. But the wizard stalls and tells them to come back the next day. While they played with the wizard, Dorothy's dog Toto pulls back the curtain behind which the wizard spoke to reveal that the wizard isn't wizard at all. He's just a fearful, fidgety man from Nebraska. <laughs> Guys, I, I am fan of watching this ano, ano, Wizard of Oz. Kasi bata pa ako noon, ngayon ko pala na, ano, na-realize ang pinaka-story talaga. No? I keep watching this one when I was 7 years old. So now, <laughs> ngayon ko lang nalaman ng ganito pala to. Okay, let's continue. It said that the author, L. Frank Baum, had a serious problem with God, so he wanted to send the message that only we have the power to solve our problems. Yun na pala, no? In contrast, the Apostle Paul backed the, the veils to reveal the truly wonderful one behind the curtain. Words fail, Chan. Note the repeated use of preposition like in the passage. For the point is, well made. God is seated on his throne, surrounded by a sea of glass, despite the troubles that plague us here on earth. God isn't pacing the floor and beating and biting his nails. He's actively at work for our good, so we can experience his peace. Amen and amen. Ang ganda guys, no? Yes, I agree. God is constantly at work and actively at work for us to have peace of mind and a joy in the spirit. God is giving us problems in order for us to go near to Him. Kasi nga, nabis, naging busy tayo dito sa world, kaya deception ang binigay ng enemy sa atin, like what happened to that wizard of Oz, no? Iba yung binigay to each of the character. Kaya sa atin naman guys, because we are so busy with the work of the world, iba rin yung nasa heart natin. It's still deception. But if we go near to God, no, lalo-lalo na pag may problema tayo, nagiging sensitive tayo kay God eh, no? Kasi we always uh, spend time with Him. Kaya God is so happy na makapag-spend time tayo sa Kanya. Guys, prayer is the most important thing because we're talking to the Most High God, to the Most Person who loves us the most also. Kaya God is so excited for us when we pray. But sometimes, no, kawang, no, walang silbi yung prayer natin if we have no relationship with God, no? Kaya, let's spend time with God praying, having a devotional, reading the Bible. Ito, yung ulit-ulit ko talaga kasi importante talaga yung relationship natin kay Lord. Kasi nga, kung may relationship tayo kay Lord, mas effective lalo yung prayer natin. And, like for example, you ask of me and I do not know you. And then you did not even spend time with me. How would I answer your question? How would I give you if you're going to ask something from me? So yun yung ano, yung theory, no? Na dapat, we have to be closer to God, know more about Him, bear it in the Bible, and then ask of Him how, how would you apply what you have read to the Bible? It's just like having this devotional. How would you apply your learning to so this devotional to yourself? So yun, dapat, we have to commune with God. May relationship tayo kay Lord. I guess it's opposite to the two question. What do you feel today? And dami guys, no? The future we have, especially na may mga signs na tayo makik nakikita <clears throat> na experience of the second coming of God. Are you not afraid? Busy ka pa rin dito sa world? Na yung preparation natin dapat is, ano, uh, heavenly na. Kasi, ano na talaga, malapit na ang pagdating ni Lord. No? May mga signs na, wars, mga lindol, wala katapos ang lindol, bagyo. No? Yung weather natin, nag, lagi na chi-chain. So, yung mga ano. No? Ang dami niya na mga signs. And then, second question. How does it help you to know that God controls the troubles that surround you? Yes, no? hindi natin control yung troubles around us. But, 
One thing sure, God is working on it. Siya ang may control. No? Okay. Third question. How can you better trust and surrender to Him? Yes. Wala tayong magawa. Wala tayong magawa. Except that we have to entrust everything to God. Yung problem natin, yung mga desires natin, ano na, let's give it to God. Let's give it to God. I guess let's not pray. We are grateful, God, that we can count on you to walk with us through everything. Thank you for your peace and for your love. Amen and amen. Guys, remember, God is always actively working for us every day. God bless us all, guys, because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This again is Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muna tayo sa muli. Paalam!